Well, here in the Bay Area, number 21, Arizona gets the win in game one against number 19, Cal. And there were offense on both sides of this one. They played through the rain, but the storm was brewing for both teams offensively. In the second, Arizona just kept chipping away. Three RBI singles. First, it was Kennedy. Then the freshman, Shockey, getting it done with the small ball. And Carly Scoopin coming up, using the stick that we know she's had her entire career. And in the bottom half of that one, Herrera ties it up with a three-run bomb to left field. Cal would not go down easily. They answered immediately, still trailing by a couple but put them in much better spirits. And then they end up in the third again. We'll tie it up here. Tiana Bell, just a seeing eye bloop that lands perfectly to score two runs that come across for the Bears. It's all tied at five at this point, and Cal is not out of it yet. And then in the fifth, Taylor Beal. She hits another one. Eventually, the winning runs to break the tie come across on this one. Extra bases for her, extra insurance runs for the Wildcats, and they would run away with it further after this one, eventually scoring nine runs on 16 hits. So number 21 takes down number 19, and Silva extends her lead in the Pac-12 with 13 wins on the season. The underclassmen Shockey and Beal led the team for the Wildcats with a couple of RBIs and a couple of runs scored each. Herrera threatened one of the threats that kept Cal going with that home run, as well as Tiana Bell's two-run double. Archer doing a pretty good job coming in the circle, but ultimately those 16 hits and the nine runs get it done for Arizona. The ranked matchup goes the Wildcats way. Game two coming tomorrow.